Well, hello. I'm Michael Waters. Today we're going to talk a little bit about organ registration. Organ registration is is the art of getting of getting the correct type of sounds on the organ. We don't have to worry about this too much on other instruments, but organ you do because it is very complex. So, when I say registration, I mean pulling out the di pulling out the different stops so that you can um, so that you can op open up the airway to different types of pipes. Now, there's four di four basic types of pipes. We have um, we have principal pipes, we have reed pipes, we have flute pipes, and we have string pipes. All of those serve their own purposes and can all individually be be um, connected together. In other words, the in other words, the organ is kind of designed to imitate imitate an orchestra in in some way, so so to speak. So today we're going to kind of talk a little bit about talk a little bit about what those about what those um different sounds sound like. Now let's um let us take the reed pipes for example. We have a crumb horn on on this manual right here. Then we also have a trumpet on this manual right here. Uh, and another tr and another trumpet and an oboe on on this on this manual right, on on this manual right here. The way that well, it sounds for a trumpet. Okay, that's the that's the trumpet sound, crumb horn. Um, oboe. And of course, of course, the trumpet and the pedal is going to sound something like. Are the reed pipes. Now the stringed pipes sound something like something like this. Okay, those are the string pipes. They have their own individual unique sound. They sound something like strings, so, so to speak. Now we've also got also got what's what's called the flute pipes. They sound something like like this. And of course we have those similar sounds on some of the other manuals along with the pedals. Well no we don't no, we don't really have that as much with the pedals, though. But you can, but you can actually couple it to the pedals. Oh yeah, cannot leave the couplers out. The couplers, and I've, and I've, and I've got, and I've got a note right, right here. That's that's what that's what allows them, what allows for the sounds to go on a different manual if if you want to. And we're gonna we're gonna demonstrate that here in just here in just a second. So, but not until we get done with the um, principal pipes. Now the principal pipes are the are the pipes that we often would think of when it think of on when it comes to an organ itself, so to speak. Like for example, we take we take this right here, take the take that principal pipe, and we've even got principles in the bass pedals. These are the bass notes. Also got also got mixtures in which also qualifies as a principle, which now you probably wouldn't want that mixture, but you still but still you get the idea. So you get the idea. <laughs> um, <coughs> now now that we've actually got the principles pulled out, let's talk about what the couplers are. The couplers, as I've stated. Just, just a couple of seconds ago is is where you can is where you can make one sound on another manual go onto a different manual. So we have the, so we have this registration on the swell manual, which is which is this top row, and we have this registration on the great manual, which is this row here, and of course the pedals for pedals for that matter, which are which are which are which is this this division right here, the bass division. So, we'll take swell to great, 
you know, swell to great, and let's watch what happens. Great alone. See, it put the sound from you know from this manual over here with you know with what we've already got on the great. That is called a coupler. That's why we call. It, that's why it's called a coupler, so that you so that you can combine these different sounds if you know if the you know if you see fit for it. And that especially comes in handy when it comes to hymns, as we shall see, see in just a minute. You can also do this. You can also couple it the same way, way on you know on the pedals. See. Sorry that I don't have too much time, though, to you know to really go into what each one of these individual stops actually do and all, because that's just gonna that's just gonna take way too way too long. Um, what we will do is we will take these um, take these um, very similar ideas and apply it to an old traditional hymn. How firm a foundation today. Um, I really enjoy how from a foundation because God really is the is the foundation. Um, without God and without without the that cross and the resurrection, we would be nothing. Which is why God is the foundation. We must re remember to share the share the gospel also. So no, I'm not just a, so I'm, no I don't no, no I don't just play the organ. I also I also spread the gospel as as well. And I like to and, and I like to implement the gospel in anything that in any kind of a hymn that I'm playing. Too, for you know, for that reason. So, hopefully, nobody has too much of an issue with that. So, without further ado, we're going to play a couple of verses of "How Firm a Foundation," and then we're going to go onto a very bombastic sound, and you shall and you shall see why why it is that, that the, how it is that the, all this registration comes in handy, and how the couplers play into it. right. sounds go in the couplers, it all comes together. Now 
we've, now we've actually implemented all the couplers. Let's make sure this is the right sound. Okay, it's the right sound. video in any more detailed. Um, if you have any questions about anything, please leave your com leave uh, comments in the comments comments section. So thank you so much for watching this video.